you're reaching the pressure point of month end and your target line for winning new business looks about as achievable as finding that purple squirrel. So how do you get back on track and ensure you'll smash those targets every month? Here's where a bit of playing hard to get in recruitment can come in handy. Why not try catching them off guard? The next time a prospect asks you, why should I do business with you? Try giving them an answer they don't expect. Like, at the moment, I'm actually not sure if you should. This encourages you to take a step back and resist jumping straight into your pitch of products and services, which can often result in the prospect throwing their guard up. Try something like, are you happy with me asking some questions? Firstly, to determine if I can actually help you. This should remove the pressure of the question and open things up for a more relaxed conversation. It also gives you another opportunity to ensure you fully understand your client's needs and shows you're not just taking the one size fits all approach. This approach will catch your prospect off guard as they'll be expecting the usual song and dance about how your agency is the best and in other words, the exact same response they've had from recruiters one, two, and three just before you. Then try offering a little bit more with less. It's easy to fall into the trap of overwhelming your prospects with too much information. As when presented with too many options, it's likely they'll start to overthink the situation or become so overwhelmed that they just don't know where to start. A common result of this is that the prospect will slip into what's called action paralysis and no decision or action will actually be taken at all. When I'm asked what does Firefish do, I don't dump everything I believe to be amazing about our software on a prospect's lap. I can focus on one or two key points and condense it into a 30 second pitch, keeping it short and engaging, leaving your prospect wanting to know more. Try keeping your offering to a minimum. This gives your prospect a chance to digest what you're saying and allows them to get a better grasp on what's on the table. Then try putting the ball in your prospect's court rather than pushing your prospect for a decision or telling them that you'll call them at a specific time and day for an answer. Try placing it on their side instead. A simple sentence to close it off such as, I'll be led by you. What would you like my next steps to be? Can really pay off as it gives someone more autonomy over their own decisions, they'll tend to trust you more and also indicates that you value their time and you're taking their busy schedule into consideration. And lastly, when you're at the point of sending a follow-up email, sorry, try sending some positive client testimonials to back up what you've been telling them and let the hard proof do the work for you. If you'd like to learn more about the content in the video, check the link back to my blog in the comments and it also has some nice link backs to things like writing that perfect recruitment elevator pitch and winning more recruitment tenders with less stress. If you've got any questions, just reach out.